Washington, D.C., and I'm calling, to order. I'm calling to order this meeting of the New Columbia Statehood Commission. Uh, I, as a co-chair, I may convene the meeting, and I am doing so with Senator Strauss, with Senator Brown, and with Representative Garcia. I would like to ask the members to uh, take a look at the minutes circulated from the last meeting. Are there any questions, comments, or corrections on those minutes? Hearing none, I will entertain a motion to approve. It's been moved and seconded. All in favor of the minutes as presented say aye. Aye. Any opposed? The ayes have it. And the minutes are approved. I would like to ask the members to look at the agenda before you. Item one, approval of the minutes. Item two, um, thank and recognize the members of the Legal Advisory Committee. Item three, the public comment period. Item four, the New Columbia Statehood Commission and a vote on is a, is a voting item for the public release of the draft, draft constitution. Are there any changes to the agenda as presented? Without objection, I would like to add an item five, which would allow for questions on the draft constitution. Any, any opposition? Uh, let me add a, a item number five, questions. So let me also recognize, in our last meeting, we talked about the working groups uh, that would support the state, uh, the New Columbia State Commission. And I explained then uh, just what the New Columbia State Commission is. Uh, it is the commission that was created by legislation by our co-chair and council chairman, Phil Mendelson. And it's made up of the mayor, the council chairman, and, the, and our two senators and representative. Uh, the Statehood Commission is tasked with promoting statehood for Washington, D.C. Uh, part of that plan uh, was that a legal advisory committee would advise this commission. And that legal advisory committee was also tasked uh, with drafting uh, the constitution that would be put before this commission and ultimately the count uh, next the council and ultimately the voters of the District of Columbia. <laughs> So again, I wanted to thank everybody for all of the, the hours that they put in. Uh, we acknowledged at our last meeting the very necessary uh, aggressive schedule that we have, but we also recognized that we wanted to be a thoroughly, a thorough aggressive uh, exercise. And that's where we stand now, and we are pleased to be able to discuss what we've come up with. to release uh, the, the document, including a discussion of the history of, of constitutions in DC, the public engagement process, and a discussion draft constitution. Is there a discussion? 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 All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? The ayes have it, and it's unanimous. So we are now releasing the draft So who's passing them out? <laughs> Thank you, Madam Mayor. This is an exciting day for all of us here in the District of Columbia, soon to be the 51st state. Uh, <laughs> I am so excited that I am literally getting chills <laughs> uh, as we sit here now. Um, let me just begin by thanking the members of the Legal Advisory Committee for their hard work in preparing this draft uh, as the only lawyer, I believe, on the commission. And I'm not sure that's a, an honor necessarily, but um, I was privileged to attend some of those meetings. Uh, and while I take no pride of authorship on the document that they're presenting, I take great pride in the quality and skill that those attorneys who have donated their time and wisdom and skill and effort into bringing forth to us this draft today. 
It is, of course, just an opening draft. Uh, it is a starting point that will engage the members of the public, uh, but it is exciting to be participating in the very first, what I believe to be the very first constitutional convention here in the 21st century. My views is, uh, as I stated uh, a moment ago, I, uh, I applaud the mayor uh, and those who, who believe now it's time to push for statehood. But the pushing for statehood has to be done with intended purposes, not is to, to make sure that everybody expresses themselves and it's done democratically. Statehood has never gotten from the top down but from the bottom up. A statehood constitution written in 82 and ratified, so we should be discussing those things. But a, sta a convention that just tells us, or, or a constitution that just uh, ratifies what the U.S. Constitution is not one that's going to meet the aspirations of the people of Washington, especially African American people. My name is Anise Jenkins. I'm a resident of Ward 5, native Washingtonian. And I feel that today is a big step towards statehood. I'm really happy that we have a mayor that's on the side of statehood. I just want to make sure that the people are invited are, and are involved in this movement. This is huge. The fact that D.C. is going for statehood, we voted for it in 82, don't forget. We voted for it in 82. We have a chance again to confirm it and vote even more. Free D.C. statehood now. And I want to say I am a proud supporter of the Washington and former newspaper. Thank you for being the voice of the community.